Hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving. I know for a fact Juan Soto did. Imagine sitting down with your family knowing no matter what baseball team you play for next, you're about to be $600 plus million plus richer. Beyond generational wealth for him and his family. Be pretty easy for him and anyone in the Soto household to feel that holiday spirit. Meanwhile, every Mets, Yankees, and Red Sox fan is on the edge of their seat wondering if they're about to have the best or worst Christmas season of their lives. And all the reports coming out on Thanksgiving Day did not help at all with that. Now, considering this is Juan Soto and whatever contract he gets with whatever team it ends up being will be one of the biggest blockbuster contracts in sports history, I'm not going to truly believe anything I hear or read regarding him until it's confirmed by a top reporter, and then even after that, I won't fully believe it until he's at the press conference, especially if he signs with the Mets or Red Sox. So yeah, there were a lot of Juan Soto rumors flying around on Thanksgiving that I didn't really take fully for face value, but... Where there's smoke, there's fire. The rumors were mainly about Juan Soto and the Red Sox, and all these people making it out to be as good of a done deal, honestly. But it's not just random people putting out random things. Let me show you. The Instagram account Cruel Sports had a journalist talking about Soto, and the translation basically said that he has information that Juan Soto and the Red Sox have a verbal agreement in place, but there's still many steps to be done before anything becomes official. The tweet that got the biggest traction was from a guy called Mick, who also broke another recent Boston sports thing that happened. He was first to report that the Bruins fired their head coach recently, and his tweet about Soto and the Red Sox looked like this, basically making the deal look as good as done. And that we should expect an official announcement to come within the next few days. So that's kind of like what the other guy said. Just a little more serious, but in another way, I guess. Like saying there's a verbal agreement, but it's not official, and we should hear soon. Now, whether this guy is onto something or not, he's clearly not a troll just by looking at his stuff. He takes himself seriously and isn't just putting this out there to get attention. I don't believe he would do that considering what he does, who he works with, etc. To false alarm something this big would be a horrible look, so again, maybe he is wrong, but at the very least, he seems to truly believe he knows something most of us do not, and therefore is tweeting this stuff out. Three hours later, Mick tweets out that he stands by his report and he's going to be on the Red Sox. A couple hours later, another Latin reporter, Mike Rodriguez, comes out and claims his sources told him that Juan Soto and Rafael Devers spoke for over an hour on the phone and that there is a 12-year offer for around $50 million per season. 30 minutes later, another reporter based in the Dominican Republic, Hector Gomez, said that he was hearing a 13-year, $625 million offer. 20 minutes or so after that, Jeff Passan, baseball's most trusted reporter, who everyone has basically said they won't believe anything until it comes from him, tweeted out a shot basically at all these reports coming out, but what he didn't deny in his tweet was that Juan Soto was close or had a verbal agreement to some contract. All Passan denied was that there was a contract signed by Soto, that nothing was official. But both things could be true, what Passan said and what the other reports are saying, that Soto is unofficially on the Red Sox now because he didn't sign with them yet, but is close to or something along those lines. And Mick tripled down, not just reiterating that he stands by his earlier tweets, but quoted Passan basically saying, F you. Don't be an asshole because you got caught with your pants down. Soto to Boston. Again, this is a lot of credibility and confidence to have on the line for Mick. But here's the most interesting part of it all, and it comes from a guy getting the least amount of attention through all these rumors. Look at this. There's this guy, Gino Betts, who actually follows me on Twitter slash X. He doesn't claim to be any sort of reporter at all and doesn't have many tweets up on his profile, but the ones he has up are all him reporting Red Sox news before it ever happened. And this is completely real, you can go check for yourself. This man broke Rafael Devers' contract extension with the team with the exact amount of years. This tweet was at 4.44 p.m. on January 4th, 2023. Jeff Passan, who was thought to have it first, tweeted out the breaking news on the same day at 5.15 p.m. This guy had Devers' 11-year contract extension about 30 minutes earlier than Passive. That's kind of a big deal. A week later, Gino tweeted that the Red Sox were trying to sign Adam Duvall. A week after that, the Red Sox signed Adam Duvall. And again, I think a big thing to look at here is this isn't some wannabe reporter. He doesn't just throw a ton of random shit at the wall and see what sticks. Gino rarely tweets unless he clearly knows something. He's come back out of the clouds from his almost two-year hiatus now to say some really interesting things now on Soto and the Red Sox. 
also talking about the phone call he had with Devers, and according to Gino, it's a friend of his who's close to Soto giving him this information, and it's the same friend who gave him the Devers contract extension before anyone. Who really knows, man? But again, all these people aren't just pulling this out of their ass to F around. Whether there's validity to what's being said or not, like I said, where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's also evidence that these people have been trustworthy in the past. So there's at least something to look at here, and I don't think you should fully decide dismiss it even though it's not necessarily something to take for face value so what does this mean for juan soto let me know your thoughts and thank you for watching